Duluth Mayor Emily Larson delivered her State of the City speech to a live audience this week, marking a transition from a difficult two-year period. The mayor outlined some goals to improve the economy, bring people back to the downtown area, and provide high-speed internet service to residents of the city. So joining us now with more on her vision for the city of Duluth is Emily Larson, the mayor of this town. Welcome back, Mayor. Good to Thank see you, you again. Thank you so much, Jenny. I'm so sorry I laughed when we talked about road construction. Hey, it happens. <laughs> it's always too soon. It's, it's always, always too soon. Well, it, it comes every year, I guess. But <laughs> That's right. Now, one of the major emphasis <clears throat> in your speech the other night, Mayor, was economic development. Yes. In, in what areas do you believe Duluth has grown pretty well economically during Absolutely. your time as mayor. Mm -hmm. And what do you expect uh, the future to bring economically to the city? Yeah, really about, actually more than half of my speech was really focused on economic development, mm -hmm. talking about the elements that I think we have done well, which is really packaging the factors that business and commerce need to be stable to grow your business. So having f um, housing, having infrastructure, clean water, um, all of those pieces that are really core functions of the city. So really laid out our success, you know, 1,500 new housing units, mm -hmm. 14 miles of streets being done this summer compared to two, my, the, the first um, year I took office, uh, lead line work, all sorts of really important things. And then I really talked about the new areas I'd like the city to go in, which is really looking at our overall economic development strategy, asking ourselves some core questions about whether or not the city can move out of the way yeah. and reduce some policies. Which brings to question, you did use the term a holistic view yeah. of economic development. What does that mean? Well, for me, and I think for most people, it recognizes that economic development isn't just one factor, right? I can't just go to work and be economically successful. I need to be able to have affordable childcare. I need to have a place to live. I need to have a way to get to and from work. So the approach that we've really worked on up until now has been about how to broaden economic development to ensure that when you're going to work, you've got a place to come home to, a way mm. to get there, and a way to you know keep all the basic services going. So what do businesses look for then when they're contemplating perhaps moving to a city like Duluth? Yeah, sometimes businesses are looking for uh, you know, direct economic investment, and that's something that we can do. Sometimes they're looking for location and adjacency that fits with housing development and other um, physical elements that are important to them, that we can do. Sometimes they're looking for clarity on how, how does this happen if we come in and get a permit, What's the reliable way in which that happens? How will you interact and support the business? Most and really all businesses are looking for enthusiasm. They're Ma looking for an understanding and a commitment from people who work in City Hall that we are here to help you be successful. You announced a downtown task force. Yeah. What's that all about? Yes, so downtown is, I mean, it's incredible, it's a beautiful downtown. And in the past two years, we have seen changes, like all downtowns. Um, many more people are working from home. We have some retail storefronts that are open that weren't open. Uh, we have people who you know, need supports that are living outside and we wanna help them find stable housing. So we have announced a really exciting task force led by GDC, Greater Downtown, um, uh, the Greater Downtown Council mm -hmm. Director, Christy Stokes, and then Duluth Superior Community Area Foundation President, Sean Flurkey. You touched really on a number of other subjects too. You, you want every resident, you said, to have access to high-speed fiber optic internet within six years. That's right. How do you propose to get that accomplished? I'm so excited about this, Denny. I have to tell you, I feel so strongly. I mean, this is also an economic development. It is a workforce competition. It is an access to education piece. All of that is bundled into access to internet. As we've seen the last two years, there's not much you can do and be competitive in if you don't have access to that. So uh, we'll be bringing forward our full proposal to the council to adopt. We're going to start with a pilot project in Lincoln Park that's going to connect 2,000 homes. We have about 35,000 homes across the city of Duluth. Right now, only 6% of Duluthians have access to high-speed fiber, and mm -hmm. that's that's just not acceptable. We can do better, we can do more, and we have a plan. And speaking of homes, you keep talking about the need for affordable housing yeah. here in the city. Is affordable housing or lack of such a stumbling block for this town? Yes. It absolutely is. Uh, as we have seen, wages are going up now because the market's requiring that with a workforce shortage and other pieces, but the cost of living is going up. And I, in 
every single age bracket, we are seeing people really struggle to have a place that they can afford that feels safe, that is reliable and is healthy. So yes, affordable housing is absolutely holding us back. We are also doing some packaging around, um, you know, land parcels that yeah. can be built out for additional single family home development. We need townhomes, we need single family homes, and then we also just need straight up affordable housing for people to be able to have a safe place to lay their head at night. I have time for one final oh, question, good. Mayor. Uh, street reconstruction yes. has been one of your priorities. What's new on that? Well, we're going to actually roll out our public meeting starting next week. You know, we have a five-year plan that we keep updating and, and moving towards and getting great progress. The last two years, we've done 31 miles of road. Uh, this year, we're going to do 14 miles. And uh, so the neighborhood meetings will start so we can start engaging the public, I think, in the next two weeks. Mayor Emily Larson, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Denny. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you for being here tonight.